You know, seeing Germany do this well, I don't really like it. Now, maybe once we've dealt with Japan, we um we go deal with this man. And to do that, I'd need the Soviets to stick around a little bit longer. So I'm a little torn on where to take this from here. Obviously, we're going to eat Japan and the rest of China. But I kind of want to not have to make friends with Germany. I could just backstab them from the Netherlands and overrun them or at least do some serious damage while they're balls deep in the Soviet Union. I could probably prop up the Soviet Union with a generous lend-lease of equipment. But do I want Papa Stalin to come out on top? I mm, Honestly, I want to get rid of them both. Part of me also doesn't want to play for that long. So let's first take out Japan. Now, Japan is the main goal here. Japan. All right, let's cancel the non-aggression pact. I was able to do that because I had stacked double the amount of troops on our shared border, which is literally just this tile. I have my naval invasion prepared. I have the world's greatest fleet ready to strike. We're going to hit Japan, knock them out, be done with it. Quickly justify a war goal. Obviously, 30 days. All right, justification is done. We're going to declare war. I'm not going to call any of my puppets in because that means the Japanese are going to waste a lot of time sending troops to borders that don't matter. Now, I just hope I can actually land some troops to give myself a little edge. I've given this general the naval liaison bonus, more shore bombardment, so it might help us out with those naval landings. That said, I think our navy is more than capable of uh, doing what I needed to do. All right, so it might be a little difficult to make landfall here. They have a lot of people at home. Still, we're gonna we're gonna give it our best. We're gonna do our best. It's gonna be all or nothing here. Uh, should be able to take Nagasaki. Okay, send the rest of the army over and then we'll quickly overrun uh, whatever they have. Also need to hurry up and take the airbase in Kyushu. Send over my entire air force, at least a good portion of it, about 300 CAS and about 300 fighters as well, just to get myself a little bit of an edge. All right, so let's see, we need to organize this. Half of them push up towards Hiroshima and half of you push along Kochi. Like that, sort of, yeah. Uh, I will never not be amused by just how easy it is to overrun Japan. It's like every time it's just land troops, Japan dies. Yeah, this is just about over. I think once Tokyo falls, it's done. And they go to Swiss. I didn't even realize uh, Italy went to war with the Swiss. Oh, I love Cass. The amount of damage we're doing here is amazing. And we're just killing so many of their fighters. Did they not upgrade these at all? Shocking. And with this war almost over, let's just halt this for a teeny, teeny, tiny second. Uh, I need to call my Chinese puppet in. If I don't, well, they might get overrun. I don't care. I have to get them involved to be able to get something out of the peace deal. Otherwise, uh, I'm stuck with a whole lot of China. I can't really do anything with, but if I can give it to my puppet, all the better. Now there we go. All right, first of all, navies. All mine. So we've got uh, a Korean puppet. We've got a big old Japanese puppet, Malaysian Japan. We took all of their islands that were not directly linked to the home islands. So maybe I should give Okinawa back, you know, maybe. And we have a giant China, which we can make even bigger by just justifying a war goal on whatever's left of Chiang Kai-shek. What do we do from here? What do we do from here? I have decided to start working towards a flipping communist, which honestly might take a while. Meanwhile, I'm supporting the Soviet Union with as much lend lease as I can realistically fit and I'm gonna look for more targets I might just take out nationalist Spain while I'm at it and just just start sniping at little targets around me that I can take care of without too much of an issue really I'm gonna knock out the Spanish and then I'm gonna set up for a glorious push into Germany I think I want to help out my Soviet brothers I think I want to help out my Soviet brothers all right justification on the Spanish is a finish uh, we're just going to declare war. I, I don't really need to call anyone else except maybe for Vichy France because that would allow me to, you know, actually get there. Then again, I could just naval invade and not have to bother, but it's easier. It's easier to just call them in. There we go. And go. Just just walk in there. Their, their army is literal garbage. I don't think he had... No, he barely has any divisions. So this is, uh, is going to be over soon. Another friend of the revolution will be born. And the USA has just declared war on the Bahamas Unitary State. So 
The US has gone to war with the Bahamas, who are a puppet of Germany. So yay, the USA is in, which means it's definitely a good choice to knock out Germany. All right, let's knock Portugal out. Shouldn't be too difficult. Bada bing, bada boom. Not going to call any allies in. I'm not making that mistake again. Quick, naval evasion along the coast. Massive air cover. Should be easy enough. And then we're going to uh, be leaving the Axis afterwards. Just as soon as I have built up Fortress Holland enough that I can make use of it properly. Yeah, that was easy. So all I'm really going to take is Timor and pop it a bunch of stuff. All I'm really waiting for is all right, the last army to get into position, which they just did. You guys go there. Make sure we have an attack going there. Everybody's in position, more or less. And I'm going to stop all these exercises and I'm going to simply leave the faction. Germany has a war goal on our Dutch puppet. I wonder if they're going to use it. It's going to leave the axis. I'm going to have to do it myself, aren't I? All right. Justification is finished. We are going to declare war. Italy is going to get involved and I don't care. Right. We're launching our naval invasion. We are going to declare war on the Southern Reichskommissariat as well. Let's see if I can get my way into Belgium for a start and from there we'll see. And we're going to call these Dutchmen to arms as well. Okay, I need I need a moment here. Vichy France, who was my puppet, very much my puppet, very much my puppet. I distinctly remember puppeting them. It's now at war with me. So through the vagaries of the absolutely horrific focus tree here, they somehow broke free and joined the Axis because they're no longer a puppet. Yeah, don't love that. Let's join the common turn. Yeah, baby! Communism! I'm gonna call the Japanese in. They don't have any borders. They're a nice distraction. They have a lot of troops. That's nice. I'm not gonna call the Chinese in, mostly because there's still a lot of German units in China for some reason, but they also have a fairly long border and they're not really effectively guarding it. Until that's done, I'm not gonna get involved there. I may have underestimated the amount of air they can field because, oh my god, they have a lot of air they can field. I could disgust the amount of air. <laughs> oh boy. Even though I'm shooting a whole lot of their stuff, they're also shooting down a whole lot of my stuff. Eventually I'll wear their air force down. I feel like I should be able to eventually wear it down. Uh, let's also start some spying. Some spying never really hurts. Things are getting hairy in the Netherlands actually because they've just taken my second airfield. I no longer have air dominance. Oh, they're just pushing me back. How are they doing this? Did I bite off more than I can chew? It's it's looking very, very likely. Time to call China to arms. I think they have a lot of troops. Soviets have moved in to provide some extra cover and combine that should be a nice little uh, distraction for the German troops. Well, we've gotten to the point where the Germans have managed to whittle down so many of my fighters that I think the balance here is flipped. I'm losing more airplanes than they are now, despite my airplanes being uh, better in almost every way. They just have thousands and thousands more than I do, which is annoying. I don't really know how to break this up. I'm thinking try naval invasion of Italy. See if we can kill Italy. Usually you can kill Italy fairly quickly. Uh, right? Okay, so we are decidedly losing in the Netherlands. I will need to yield even more ground. I'm gonna pull my air cover as well. This is not sustainable. Falling back to the, the, the last couple of tiles around Amsterdam, The Hague, and up there, Holland. Uh, what's this? Well, Holland. I am a little embarrassed, to say the least. I am a, li a lot. Very, very embarrassed. No! No! No, 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 no. Break that back open. Break that back open. Why are you like this? Come on. Come on. Break that open. I need these guys. 42 divisions gone because of reinforcement memes. I don't think... I, I can't even afford to replace those. 42 divisions. Well, might as well queue them up. So that is a lot of members gone. Uh, I am so, so, so sorry, guys. I had 100,000-ish losses. Now, th that was 700,000 men, I think. Six, at least 600,000 men. Just gone. Well, I don't know what else to do. I'm gonna try that naval invasion of Italy. Uh, got a little bit of air over Italy. Okay, so we are landing. 
Let's go. We're in Florence and a couple more tiles. Couple more tiles. I will have them cut in half. And if they can be cut in half, they can die. And halfsies? Do we do we have halfsies? We have halfsies. Everybody to the south, except for all the infantry. The infantry will hold the north. And we're going to drive hard towards the south. And infantry just defends the north. That is the extent of my commitment here. Oh, that is a lot of Italians in Italy, but they're just being pushed back. Oh, uh, it feels good to be winning for once. I really needed a little bit of a victory. Oh boy, look at the amount of Italians stacked here. I don't think we're going to drive straight into Sicily. That looks like it's going to be a bit of a challenge, but... They will have their civil war soon, I think. I don't think it's going to be that much longer. And then we'll have another ally, another friend. I've at least taken Reggio Calabria. Better than not taking Reggio Calabria. Let's just end everybody back north. Yeah, only four divisions here, and I don't think it'll push me. Yay! Italy can have the territory. They fractured into civil war. Does this make things better? Eh! Likely? Yeah, Netherlands lost cause. Uh, I'm gonna have the Americans just sit there and I'm leaving. <laughs> I, I, I know, I know, very classy of me. But yes, I am leaving. Maybe I should just set up on the border with the Spanish and push up north or try to push through the Alps while the going is good. It's time to embrace our communist nature. What even is stability, right? So we are now the democratic Majapahit Socialist Republic. The same nice color of red, but now it means something. I'll probably need to convert all of my puppets as well, but uh, eh, that can wait. That can wait. Right now I need stability. <laughs> Small breakthroughs here and there. I'm still trying to get the French push pushed back. It's, it's proven a little tougher than I had anticipated, but at least like the rest of the line is more or less holding. A little less, a little more, you know. I did manage to create a beautiful encirclement in the French Alps, so I should be able to close that soon with the mechanized. It's not a huge amount of divisions, but it's a amount of divisions, and any division I don't have to fight, that's a win in my book. So I'm going to quickly close that up and then see if I can push. I am sorely tested this run. I have done this to myself by creating a mega Germany with my support, but holy crap, are they tough as nails. I've killed, they've lost 12 million men and they're still pumping out units like there is no tomorrow. So now let's kill all these guys, about 50 divisions, 40, 40, 45 ish divisions. So that's a good kill. What I really want to do is get across this stupid, stupid river or push up north into Lyon. If I can get to Lyon, I have a supply hub. So maybe I should make that my, my first target. Well, I think it's time to poke the bear a little more. Maybe I can get a, some sort of counterattack going from Spain. Spain. This is completely bogged down. I don't think I'm going to be able to break through the terrain a ship. There's too many divisions and red air. Americans are still like moving back and forth in the Balkans. I commend them for their effort. I've even helped them out by building up some more ports and some railways. You know, they've, they've put in the effort. I'll, I'll see if I can help them out. The breach is made. Gotta keep building, 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 building now. If I can link up main fronts that would be amazing and there you pin there come on come on link up link up link up come on you can do it yes okay main front linked up that means i assign you there and we create one really long front line let's try a naval invasion around bordeaux see if i can use it to break the backs of the enemy there if i can cut the railway links i would probably be able to starve most of those units and combined with like an all-out assault with whatever's left of my air maybe i can get a nice encirclement in if i get a nice encirclement in i can keep driving north to see if i can make the magic happen okay naval invasion should play out okay maybe Oof, that's a, there are tough nuts to crack doesn't matter. Keep driving, 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 driving. Cut all the railway links possible. So if I can get this railway link cut, they have nothing in the south except for the port of Bilbao. And I can probably convoy raid or just straight up assault it. Okay, so I am, as usual, in way over my head. Where are they consistently finding all these divisions? It's like they, they have a magical pool of units and they're all located up their ass and they just need to Pull them out every now and then. Just, just pull some units straight up out of their ass. And there's nothing I can do about it. As long as I can hold the north. Come on. Did we touch? Are we touching? We might. Come on. We're going to break through here. We're going to break through here. I can see it happening. Yes! Oh! 
We have separated the fronts. Now to reposition the front line. It's a start. It's more than a start. It's uh, it's the beginning of the end for Germany. And we have taken Bilbao. That means none of these guys have any ports whatsoever. So they should all die. Come on, hold, hold. Yes, 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 yes. It's starting to happen. It's starting to happen. All right, motorized will take over the pocket in the south. We'll move the infantry north to ensure that, well, nothing untoward happens there. And then we're gonna try and push these guys into the sea with the mechanized. Hopefully that will be sufficient. Hopefully we have sufficient strength to do it. We should. These guys aren't getting any fresh supplies in. They're all encircled, 100% trapped. We just need to wear them down. We have a northern front here now that's a lot more suited to a breakthrough naval invasions boys naval invasions great great stuff after suffering so much to take care of the Germans, this is a beautiful sight. That is a lot of their divisions here. It's like 60, 70 divisions just gone. Bing, 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 bing. All those hats going away. Ah, and they're gone. Just take them one supply hub at a time and then hopefully, hopefully get the ball rolling with a big push in one direction or cut across here towards Tours and then straight across towards La Havre, cut off Brittany, fight Germany, I thought. It'll be fun, I thought. I thought wrong. Come on, I gotta make it to Tours. If I make it to Tours, I have the local supply stolen, removed, taken away. Come on, come on. Survive, survive the battle. Push, push, one more push. No, then they're just gonna constantly pin me with stupid attacks that they can't beat me, but they're just gonna keep me pinned here. I've taken Tours. That means supply should be mine in this region. Let's make sure the motorized can set up there and then we'll launch an attack towards Sherborg. Hopefully we can get some sort of momentum going. I am once again out of fuel. Is that my navy? It could be. Let's just send the navy back to port just to rearm, refuel, re-everything. I am sending a lot of my oil away. How much oil am I importing? None. Maybe I should start importing some sort of oil reserves because I am giving away a lot of oil. How much am I getting from my trades? See, it's one, that's two, three. I get 37 factories from trade, so I don't really want to switch out from export. Encirclement of La Rochelle has happened. Infantry to the wider front and motorized commit to the La Rochelle well, pocket, beachhead, whatever. Crush that. That should give me the supply I need to move on. Shift the air as well. Focus now on Western France. Collapse that. I see some Americans on the front line. Very, very welcome to see some Americans friends and we've taken La Rochelle come on and they're dead smaller pockets not as ambitious not as glorious perhaps but not unimportant all right all right we're gonna make some yep okay so initial pocket here that's like a bunch of divisions we won't have to worry about anymore it's that important these units will now die obviously and i won't have to worry about them now i can quickly drive towards lyon get the supply there perfection vichy france has perished eh? <laughs> Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I'm quite happy with this. This is a lot better than we were a minute ago. So a little, little encircling here, a little encircling there, and we, we've just crushed the French. A hated enemy destroyed. Just keep the ball rolling now. Try to keep pushing with the motorized. We'll have to shift the air around in a bit though. Once this pocket collapses, I'll shift the air because that is a lot of divisions. I want to kill this off before it becomes a headache. Reposition my air a little. All right, cool. Now we're in Northern France. And we're breaking through. We are breaking through. Just need to make sure the infantry keeps up the pace. Otherwise, we uh, risk losing all of our motorized. We've almost completed the cut. We've almost completed. Come on. Come on. I'm um, yeah. Okay, so we have completed the cut. What am I going to do? I'm going to shift the motorized into taking this section of the front. And the infantry just follow. Just follow along. Don't get yourself killed. Just make sure I don't get encircled reorganizing fine the united states has joined the common turn yes damn it truman i knew it i knew you had it in you madman the u.s is in the common turn boys <laughs> Once Brittany is con controlled, I'm going to try and punch through towards the low countries because the line is super thin now. Germany has lost a lot of divisions here. Oh, well, they still have. 
Well, they still have a lot, but they've lost like 20 million men. They can't possibly keep this up forever. And we have arrived at Brest. So most of France under our control won a nice push. And that was that. Now let's push along the coast here. And uh, let's go back to the Netherlands. Let's show them who was boss. So I've been killing German airplanes like crazy for a very long time. And they still have 8,000 fighters. Almost 8,000 fighters to commit. How? Why? I don't know. I don't like the air war. I think it's annoying and it's stupid and there's nothing I can do to change the outcome. I'm already producing the best fighter I can and it's simply insufficient. I'm going to try for an encirclement with the motorized, the mechanized. So what I'm going to do is take the mechanized. We're going to try to push through Belgium towards Luxembourg and then try to link up in this tile near Metz. Oh, uh, why is this front line? Oh no, the front line stupid i'm about to drive into sedan come on oh just getting pinned 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 constantly Come on infantry redeploy don't don't leave my boys hanging redeploy right. all the air over this place now come on come on come on yes yes maybe got him so it's not the huge encirclement it could have been i think they got a lot of divisions out but i am incredibly satisfied with this and now the mechanized just holds the door open and then pushes out from there to like the rhine if we can make it if we can make that yeah now we crush them ah pocket clean perfectly clean they're gone. That is a lot of divisions, mostly Hungarians, it seems. And that is a definite Soviet counterattack. They've certainly moved the front a little bit. But where are all their troops, I wonder? They have a lot of divisions. I just don't know where they're keeping them. Speaking of a lot of divisions, I'm going to call everybody in. Even the ones that I probably shouldn't, I'm just going to call everybody in. And we're going to turn the African continent into a cage match between the Italians the Germans, and all of my teeny tiny puppets who all have divisions now. So, should be interesting. Oh, hey, Nationalist Spain landed troops in the Netherlands. I'm gonna get my boys over there, just into the port, and then straight over there, and I can maybe get a breach out that way a lot quicker, if I can get there before the pocket is contained. I've got the Navy out here anyway, just sinking everything that looks vaguely German, so I, d I think I should be able to get my troops in there without getting intercepted. Uh, hopefully? Come on. Don't get yourselves intercepted now. Oh, no. I may have made a mistake here. Oh, my God. I have actually done the mistake. Oh, I lost a division? Seriously, they managed to kill a division just because it sailed in there and then ran out of org because of the way the system works. I am so pissed off. What the hell is going on here? How did they even pull that off? Yeah, I lost the division there. I am annoyed. Oh, there it goes. Reichskommissariat Niederländer. Good riddance, I say. That's 20 divisions on a single tile. There's no way I'm getting through there. Not without total air dominance. And They still have like five times oh uh, well no no there's american fighters here but they still have so many more airplanes than i do an absurd amount of divisions per tile but i think i can break their lines still if i'm quick about it yeah 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 we're gonna ah, we're gonna cut through we're gonna cut through yes delicious and nutritious and now we kill them around ghent and brussels that is a whole lot of divisions they have trapped here now let's drive them back murder death kill oh and that is gonna set us up perfectly for a push into germany itself and yes i have stopped doing research because most of it's pointless by now i have the tools i need to finish this I just kind of forgot, and I'm, I'm way too excited to keep clicking these things. Keep the push going, so drive. Oh, that is like 50 divisions. It has to be like 50 divisions here. Oh, there goes Reichskommissar at Belgien. All right, how many divisions does Germany have left? <sighs> Still like 400. <laughs> They've lost 22 million men. Where are they finding the will to keep going? I think I've cracked the armor now. Big penetration up north and they don't really have anything. They'll redeploy troops to stop me eventually, but I'll take a lot of land before they do. Admittedly, I did leave Italy to its fate and its fate being they're holding. Americans are holding the line there. I just need all my own units to shore this up to make sure this offensive actually works. That is the important thing now that the offensive here works out. Murder, death, kill as many Germans as I can now. Oh, they intercepted me, but not soon enough. <laughs> Malaysian mechanized divisions, Kevin and Tim, have taken Berlin. And we're getting green air. I think the Germans cracked. 
Like, the, the, the back of the German army is broken. And I know I've said that before in many of my videos, but this is this is the real deal. Right? They, they can't keep this up. They don't have the numbers to fight the Soviets and me, and then also the Americans. So that is really the crux of the thing here. It's the Americans, the, the number of American divisions, the American industry, and with them actually joining the faction and coordinating properly, that's like the nail in the coffin for the Germans, if you will. It's gonna be an incredibly offensive, expensive offensive that I'm waging here, but victory has to come. Inching closer to Munich and with Munich, Innsbruck, I could cut off the entire West, like literally the entire German army in the West would be trapped and easily destroyed. I think at this point I am so overextended, it's not even funny. Right, so you may notice that I've traveled back in time a little, not much, because the game crashed. Well, not the game, my, my entire computer just gave Gave up on life and went away with the dodo. We're back in business. Let's finish off the Germans. Yeah. All right, Malaysians, keep pushing. So we're gonna try. We're gonna try to meet in the middle here near Innsbruck. If I can get there, cut off the entire German western flank. It's not reinforcing the tile. Does that count? Is that is that encirclement complete? Do we have full encirclement of the western front? I think we do. I think this is like. I think this counts. And with that. I am redeploying my army to the German border. No, 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 no. I'm not redeploying my army. I'm I'm crushing this massive pocket. We are destroying the German army now. Of course, the annoying thing is they have the Maginot, but that's not going to help them when they have literally nothing else. <laughs> oh, this is so many divisions. <laughs> this is so many divisions. Like, this is like 50. This is probably another 50, 55, even more, maybe. Oh, it's like over 100 divisions. It's definitely over 100 divisions we just encircled like that. Look at it. Look at the beauty of encirclements. Put this on the Reddit, boys. With that out of the way, let's redeploy the mechanized, and we're gonna make a run for Vienna. The infantry can clean this up on its own. Oh, they're up to... Where are we? Where are we? 20, 24 million almost. Their army numbers have dropped significantly, and the pockets aren't even fully closed. Yes, and when Germany dies, I won't have to play this game anymore. That's even better. We're in Vienna. Is that enough? Oh, it's not enough. What else did it have? Grass. All right, let's drive the grass. It was Salzburg. Innsbruck. And up there, G oh, Danzig and Gdynia. Gdynia is 10. Danzig is 10. Königsberg is 10. Fine. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll play along. I'll play along, Germany. Fine. We'll, we'll do this your way. Not even salty about it. And there goes Germany. Ah, and with that, the Soviet Union's probably been fully revived. Glorious. Front line's a bit of a mess, though. Yeah, this is just mopping up now. It's not even challenging. It's just a little tedious to mop all this up. Yes! And now to just get a disgusting peace deal done, and I'm free! I have most of the points anyway, so I can do what I want. We are done here. The Treaty of Berlin has reshaped the world to be a little more disgusting. France is back back. Unfortunately, they are free. So the US used most of their points to like liberate everyone, including the UK, the French, the Germans. But fortunately, we also got our pound of flesh. We have the United Cantons. We have the Swiss here. We have... Eh, there's a lot of puppets now. A lot of puppets. Commentators, huge. Allies, not so much. But, you know, uh, Churchill's still around. I'm, I'm amazed that he still has a significant navy. Like, that is still the Royal Navy there. I could kick him out and now, but it's 1947. I'm done here. I've claimed all the nearby islands, except for the Philippines, but, you know, I, I also puppeted the Kiwi Empire, the Australians, I puppeted the Raj. I think this is sufficient for a Majapahit run. We have gone all over the political spectrum, and I'm tired. Okay, with that, we're gonna end it here. This was actually a very fun run. It was frustrating at times, but incredibly fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you'll enjoy the next one too. See ya.